Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I was asked to do a um, spread or a, a explanation of the higher self for people to understand a little bit more about what the higher self means. Um, I'm also going to do a meditation on 4-4-2020, which is 444, um, for a group meditation for the collective to help us have the strength to get through as a collective this chaos that's going on in the world right now. So, and that is the strongest day to do it is on the fourth of the fourth month year 2020 number four so if you look up the meaning of 444 uh, you can look that up online or you can look it up on uh, YouTube you'll figure out what that means and where it's pointing okay um, as far as the higher self goes we're gonna go through kind of a scientific explanation because that's just how I, I explain things. Um, let me mention again that I, I hope everybody's safe through this and doing well. And uh, we're all hanging in there together, you know? We're all in this together, so be compassionate to those who do not have enough to get by and help them, okay? Um, I had to kind of draw this out because I didn't know any other way to explain it. So I'm going to I'm going to show you as, as I go through this. Okay, your higher self is what holds the information that brings you the help you need while you're in the process of this everlasting evolution, which means that it never stops. And when I when I mentioned that everything is in the now, the past, present and future. Uh, everything is in the now because there are higher planes of matter that we don't see. Okay? From the Atman, the Bodhi, the causal body, which is the main source of where the higher self connects with and communicates with, okay? Through the spirit coming from the ether, which is the non-material. And then you have the material plane. This is your future and your wave of materialism. This is where your higher planes of matter, your thoughts, they wave into the material plane and manifest, okay? And by raising our the vibrational, your vibrational or our vibrational frequency, we can start to interact with our higher self on a conscious level. The quality of information is controlled by the continuing stresses of the subconscious. So, like, whatever you're thinking about all the time is what, is what will manifest in, you, in, in the now, okay? The, behavior, the behavioral matrix, matrixes and patterns that we have and obtain over time are what manifests. The brain has three orbital uh, energies of activity. That's the physical, biological body, the social part of our brain, and the spiritual and creative part of our brain. Okay? We mainly use our vertical consciousness, which is our spiritual creative side. That's our... our our main vertical uh, compass and when we meditate that is how we get in contact with our cosmic self which is our higher self um, on, on a cosmic level as a human we're nothing but an atom a bunch of information electrons that are that feeds the consciousness like a spiral that's where the spiral comes in so when we connect to our higher self that higher self feeds our 
consciousness. It, it, it gives us choices. It, it makes us aware. And we access this information from the causal body, which is through our spirit. Our higher self is like a vinyl record. Um, our vertical brain activity is like the needle on the record. And our body is like the amplifier to that needle. I hope this makes sense to you. It's the best I could come up with as far as um, an ex you know, like a, like an example. So the needle moves on the surface of the causal body. Then the physical body manifests the events in our life and the things we experience. Not everything is predetermined as you might think. But if we follow our higher self suggestions for what we do in life, we become full of energy and enthusiasm. We get sick much less than others. We become more successful in what we do that brings us satisfaction and, and passion and, you know, that makes our, makes our spirit sing, basically. And we're often more happy during the day, you know, more so than most who are not in constant contact with their higher self. When you're, when you're in constant contact with your higher self, you make better choices for yourself. You manifest better things for yourself because you are becoming one with yourself, with your higher self, with the person that makes all the calls, really. And once you combine that to your subconscious, then old patterns and old ways in the matrix can be dismembered because you're no longer going off of the subconscious, which is a triggered body, uh, or triggered, triggered state. Your, your subconscious, it's like when you react to something, something that's devastating or, or very painful. When you react to that in a subconscious way, you're reacting to it out of emotion. When your higher self steps in, when we act within the interest of our spirit's mission, our, our spiritual mission, we actually get closer to understanding how things really work from that higher perspective. Kind of like looking at a bunch of kids on a playground. And in turn, we end up having much more, a much more meaningful, productive, and joyful life, okay? So, that's my explanation for the higher self, pretty much. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, you can leave them in the comments below. And I'll explain to the best of my knowledge, alright? Your higher self is what speaks to you through your spirit. And guides you on the right path. Now, I'm going to do an elemental reading. I'm going to do all four elements and the ether which is spirit all right but each sign needs to know right now during this period of ascension and going through this virus and 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 what they need to concentrate in their own subconscious and their own higher self okay this is going to be for all signs All right, I'm going to pull a Divine Feminine card for each, and then I'll do a full spread from two different decks. All right. All right. For Earth, we have Fisla, the prophetess of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. Okay. So Earth is calling back its power. And that makes a whole lot of sense. Because the Earth is cleaning itself right now. If you haven't been paying attention. 
the earth is churning and cleaning up what the mess that we've made. So earth is taking back their power. They're, they are from all time, space, dimensions, whatever. They're taking back the power. And we have water. What do we got for water? We got the green tower. The blue Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs me of every step, and I do what my heart compels me to do. This was what I was just talking about. Water is being led by their higher self. being led by their heart, being led by their spirit. Water is very connected to the spiritual world. Then we have fire. What does fire need to know? Got Khadija, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. You are becoming a sentient being, fire signs. In the spiritual world, you are becoming one with yourself. And air. What do we have for air? Yeah, goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. The most san sacred sanctuary is found within me. So they are realizing, the air is realizing that home is inside. Doesn't matter where you are, you carry it with you. All right? Pull this down a little bit. I think this is out. And now we have ether, which is spirit, with a message to all. several here. We got Shekinah, the presence of the divine feminine. At the center of everything there is light and I am that light. Ooh, we've got some I haven't seen before. Sarah Lakali, queen of the outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Spirit is here and it's letting you know it is. God Mirabai, the saint of true freedom. We are being liberated. So this is what it's saying. Love is what sets me free and I am married to my own soul. You cannot be touched. You are protected divinely. And certainly last but not least, we have Ishi Sogol, Lady of the Lotus Born, embodiment of the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. So this is all about, this is all about the awakening, guys. And what your role in, in it as is, is as so in earth we got taking back your power let's see what we got Ooh. a little 
issue with my hand lately, guys, so please forgive me. All right. Scroll signs. Earth. Messages for Earth. Somebody is not happy about having to take their power back. That seems kind of silly. They're disappointed, I guess, maybe in the way that they have to do it. That's a beautiful card. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You've been awakened, Earth Signs. You've been enlightened, and you're dropping your burdens, but you're not, you're not happy about it. Not right now. Just not at the moment. Okay? But you are dropping the burdens, because something happened. Something came in that caused you to have to take back your power. Okay? More than likely a very harsh spiritual lesson because this is a beautiful card see she's been enlightened she has the lion by her side it's like bring it I got this might not be happy about it but I got this so this news that you got that knocked you off your feet, knocked you out of your castle, is not so bad because you're at the Ten of Wands, which is dropping the burdens. So you won't be burdened anymore by whatever the disappointment was. Those questions are for you to answer. The Green Tower we have water. My soul informs me of every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. You have the Aquarius card. As we enter the age of Aquarius, your heart will be full. That's what I'm hearing. Your love will be complete by the age of Aquarius, which is this year. So yay. And you're going to go through a transformation. This is a Scorpio card, so we're talking about water here. A death and a rebirth. Probably spiritually going through a death and a rebirth of loving yourself. One more for my Cancer Pisces Scorpio water element. And you're going to be quite comfortable. You're going to get all the enlightenment that you need to know where you stand. To be in the power of your own presence. And to be comfortable with that. You're going to transform water signs from peace, love, and joy into the material world. Okay? We have fire, the mother of believers. I'm spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. So, past. We had left out in the cold. Feeling like Feeling like no, your spirit doesn't hear you right now. You might be in a void. If you're in a void, then possibly you're, you're having an issue with um, prayer and, and answered prayers and things like that. But just know the spirit hears you. Even if you're feeling this way. Even if you're feeling like you've been left out, like you've been ghosted by spirit. You haven't. I'll draw 
draw two more cards and we'll explain that. Explain this, please, Spirit. Yep, you're in the void. You're just waiting for things to happen. So be patient because it's coming. This awakening and this this uh, event is going to go off with a bang. So hold on because here it comes, Sagittarius. You are being divinely guided. Even if you don't know it yet, you're being divinely guided. You may feel like you're not connected right now, but you are. Air we have, reaping what you've sown. The goddess of sanctuary, no matter where I am, I am home. So whatever you have planted is where home is. Uh-oh. We got some conflict with the air signs here. Maybe they're fighting their connection with spirit. That's what I'm feeling here. The air signs are starting to fight. They're, they're fighting themselves and probably everybody else around them because they're projecting their, um, what do I want to say? They're projecting not being sure of what they're hearing, feeling, and seeing. So they're projecting that onto other people, which is causing conflict. All right? A lot of air signs here are having that issue. I see it in my readings too. So in air signs, you you spirits telling you you you've planted this. You you're reaping what you've sown because you you're not listening to your spirit. And you need to. You need to listen to your spirit because it's re it's really trying to get your attention. I mean, this is this is the the goddess of sanctuary. So this is where you will find sanctuary is in your spirit. And if you keep fighting with it, you're going to keep experiencing things that are not of your highest good. Okay? So stop fighting the process. Get on board. Start listening to your higher self. So you can have this Ace of Pentacles that the Spirit is trying to hand you. And, and get out of this feeling like you're stuck. Because you're not really stuck. You just feel that way. Because you, you, you feel like you're, you're not listening. You're not listening to Spirit here. I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm just letting you know. This is what the cards are saying. You need to listen to your Spirit. Plant something that's going to grow in a good way and hand you that ace of pentacles and get you unstuck. Okay? Sorry about the noise, guys. Kind of been storming all day, so got lots of noise going on. Um, let me go through the spiritual cards here. We got Shekinah. Which is the presence of the Divine Feminine. Yes, the Divine Feminine is here. That is an energy. It is not a person. Alright? And the King of Wands, he don't play. Okay? Direct. Does what he wants to do. Okay? Very, very fiery, passionate energy here. And combined with the presence of the Divine Feminine, this awakening cannot be stopped. Okay? It just can't. There's nothing that can stop this from happening. By fire, water, earth, or air. There's nothing that can stop this. Whoa. And then we have the Queen of the Outsiders. Who is manifesting? So we are in master manifestation 
mode now, right now. And what every, I said this before, everything you do right now, it matters. So, listen to your higher self. Listen to that voice in your head that tells you right from wrong. Because everything you plant, you will harvest. Including thoughts, um, anything mischievous, anything undermining, lies, any anything. Anything you're planting right now, you're going to harvest during this Aquarian age. So it's best to keep those thoughts pure. It's best to keep those intentions good. All right, we have one turnover for nearby. Okay. The Saint of Freedom. You guys aren't seeing it. Either you don't want it or you're not seeing it. We're here to be liberated through this through this ascension. And there are people out there who are fighting against it. I don't understand why. I guess they're just too stuck in the old slavery paradigm to see the benefit to freedom. I don't know what that's all about. But this is spirit saying you're either not seeing it or you're not wanting it for some reason. But it's all about freedom. It's all about the freedom to be who you are, your authentic self, and not be judged for that. Because as I said in the um, Dark Night of the Soul, ultimately, you are the judge, jury, and prosecution of your own timeline. Okay? And if you don't think you are, test me on that theory. And Lady of the Lotus Born... We've got embodiment of the deepest bliss. Look what we got here. We got Jupiter's magical wand. So Jupiter is hard at work here trying to help the collective manifest the highest good for all, which is freedom, enlightenment, community and opening up the lotus which is the pineal gland of your brain so you will be enlightened to the truth of all things and understand that this is a very brief period in time that you will be here to make the most of it to make the best of it and to make the best of it for all concerned. Not just yourself. Because self-centeredness will get you nowhere. I mean, don't be a doormat to people. And don't let anybody disrespect you. Keep your keep your boundaries. Keep your keep yourself intact. Be stronger. See that higher perspective of the whole playground. And you'll be all better off for it. And that wheel of fortune will turn in your favor and give you anything that your heart truly desires. Because you will manifest it. Okay? Alright. I'm going to pull one more card for each one. And then that will be the read. And that will be the explanation of the higher self. The kid's screaming everywhere. So I'm going to have to wrap this up. So right now we're going to work on the earth, taking back her power. A little disappointed in the situation, yep. Manifesting, not looking back. They're not, this isn't just, this is the element of earth, not just the signs, okay? The earth is not going to look back on its mistakes. Okay, it's going to move on. It's going to keep going. No matter what happens, it's going to keep going.